Hello everyone, my name is Tommy G. USA! USA! My mission is to make you laugh and to take you places that most people don't go. Buckle up, it's gonna be a wild ride. Are you guys getting turned up today? Fuck yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hello everybody, I'm Tommy G. Today we're in Chicago, Illinois at the Gay Pride Parade and Festival. And today we're here to see the L's, the G's, the B's, and even the T's if you can believe that. My mission is to go find people that don't really live by the mainstream of society, ask them questions. It could be a gangster rapper one day and a gay brother the other day. So I've noticed the advertisements have gotten real interesting around here. Look at the bottom one. Mortgages don't have to be a drag unless that's your thing. So now even mortgage companies are jumping on board. And we also have squirt.com. I'm actually the CEO of that. Uh, I'll put the plug in the description, but join the action at squirt.com. I just might. So hey guys, every subscriber, every like, every comment is appreciated. Let's go on an adventure today. Let's roll. <laughs> Slay on three, one, two, three. They're checking to pat me down to see if I'm packing or not packing. They're gonna be disappointed. The security pat down was nice. They touched my butt and everything. Yeah, you yeah. had fun there? Yeah, yeah. All right, good. Thank you. Okay, we're here, it's a special day. What does this day mean to you? It means being unapologetic and living your life. It means that I can be me. I can be an example for the young people that I couldn't, didn't have when I was there. What type of town did you grow up in? Small town. Oh God. Preacher's kid. Just being yourself, having fun, forgetting about the problems in the world and just enjoying yourself. Be yourself, woo! Just be proud, you know? <laughs> Alcohol. Yeah. It means freedom. Acceptance. Equality. Power. Uh, I don't know, I just rocked into the conversation. Uh, alcohol. Woo! It is celebrating pride. Love, inclusion. What else? All those things. All the gay things. All the gay things, all, all the, the queer gay things. Gay. It's pride. Pride and being gay is fucking Liberation. Awesome. Being, being ourselves, experiencing life. Yeah. I definitely am digging the flowers. Grew up to be straight, church, got married, had kids. Really? Late 40s when I came out. Was it something that you knew from a very young age, but you just didn't act on until you were 40? I knew something was different, but I didn't really understand what. Was it something that you were able to ever tell your parents or have a conversation about? No. What is the biggest issue facing the LGBT community today? Uh, the biggest uh, issue today... a little hate. Yeah, I think in, in smaller rural communities, the Republicans still wedge issues, all of that. What if we see rednecks putting rainbow on their Confederate flags? Will that solve things? We'll never see that. I don't even want to comment on we'll that. We'll never see that. What does masculinity mean to you? Uh, uh, this, this, right here. You got some guns on you. Yeah. What's your secret? Are you lifting? You doing some... Hardcore all really? the time, yes. What's your style? You like benching stuff? Are you throwing people around? Strength training. And what does masculinity mean to you guys? It's kind of undefined. I mean, I think just some masculinity is someone who can be comfort or comfortable in their own skin. I'm 100%. Hair. No, I'm 100% I'm gay though, you know. I mean, 99.9 or 100? It can mean whatever you want it exactly. to mean. Exactly. It really can. It's all can. subjective. Yeah. yeah. As long as. As long as you take everything in stride and you are yourself, you're not hurting anyone else or yourself. You can be masculine, you can be feminine. It's all subjective, you know? There you go. Is masculine being a lumberjack in Canada, hitting a tree? Being a man means being whatever you want to be, whenever you want to be it. Not being afraid to be yourself, show your emotions or don't show your emotions. Just be who you want to be. That's what being a real man or a woman is. Yeah. Okay. Don't let society tell you what to be. What does masculinity mean to you? Uh, both want to be more mass, masculine, but like we can't seem to get that yeah. sad, I guess. What about a couple more push-ups throughout the day or something? I guess, what does it mean? I guess that's another question. What does it mean to be masculine? You say you want to be more masculine. What would that look like? Like working out? Being more like stable, probably, yeah. yeah and you, so you identify masculine with stable? Yes. And feminine is chaos? Is that kind of the way, the yin and yang you're going for? Yeah, it seems like that, yeah. Slay on three, one, two, three. 
Alright, thank you, fantastic. From an outsider's perspective, things seem to be going pretty good for the gay community in 2022. Am I on point or is there more stuff that needs to happen for everyone to feel good? I think we definitely have to realize that there's more than just the gay community, there's the trans community when we definitely oh, need to yes. protect, you know, the, especially yeah. black trans women. That's very, very important. They're the number one murdered people in our group. So we want to make sure really? we protect them and, you know, not just use the gay voice to overpower everybody else. Yeah, Pride right now is not about white men anymore and it's about our marginalized communities within the gay community. The reason we still have pride and parades and fests is because there's a whole section of the queer community that's lost, and we're not, they're not being protected because they're not white men, and that's disgusting. I would still agree with it. I, I like think that there will always be a problem to cover it. However, with this new generation, we are definitely moving in the right place, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We're moving forward. There's always gonna be more ground to cover, but every year is going to step in the right direction, right? We're moving closer and closer each year, you know? Yeah. And at some point, we'll get the acceptance that we all deserve, but until then, we get to party today, right? <laughs> we feel like in the last few years, it started to come around a little bit more, and people have been a little bit more accepting of it. If I'm being honest, it almost seems like it's, it's damn near dominating pop culture right now. 100%. I'm, I'm glad it is. Lil Nas is taking over right now. Lil Nas X? Yeah, you're yeah. right. What do you think about all these companies? Like, I see Berkshire Hathaway over there being like, oh, come be gay and buy a house. Like, what do you think about that? It's honestly bullshit unless they're actually donating to the politicians that are going to make a fucking change. From an outsider's perspective, in 2022, yeah. it seems like things are pretty good in the community. Is there still more ground to cover, or, or is it like, hell yeah, things are going good? I think there's way more ground to cover. I don't think that we're super far off. I think that we, we need a lot of repair. And is there a particular hot button issue that's top of mind? A trans issue. Well, I'm friends with people on Facebook that like post anti-trans stuff every day and I'm trans. Like we don't like trans like, people or what? Like, we don't like trans people. We think that their sexuality is a joke and they're a snowflake for wanting to be a different gender. Do you think that's a small percentage of people that think like that? <laughs> Maybe. I think that I hear it a lot. It depends on where you are. Like, you know, hopefully here in Chicago, not much. Because it seems like, unfortunately, no matter which side of the political spectrum you end up on, the extremes on both sides are the people that get the most airtime. Which, it's true. You know? Is this like a bondage outfit? It's a bondage, yes. Okay. BDSM. I've never had anyone, like, smack smack me a lot. I don't know if I would be into it, but I can try on the outfit. Take it off the t-shirt. Okay. You can push a lead, somebody can grab you, it's up to you their way. Now, is, do you find that exciting, enjoyable when someone's like... Well, I make this stuff, I love of course. You want to try the bottom part? Sure. Hey mom, how's it going? <laughs> I think you're going to need one that's a little smaller than that, if you know what I mean. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Now, do you like to be a giver and a receiver when it comes to the BDSM type stuff? Depends on the day. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. what do you like more? I've never really gotten into that before. So in 2022, is it hard to be gay? No. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh, let's turn away so I don't get a, a ticket for being naked. Okay, 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 okay. I've had enough. I've had enough. All right, guys, so that experience didn't bother me because I'm very comfortable with who I am, my masculinity. I'm getting married in October. Not a big deal. But my thing I was thinking about is imagine if that was done to a woman. If a man was doing that to a woman, just like taking off your bikini bottoms or top, that would be questionable and I might be in jail. So do any of you have an interesting story of coming out to your parents? Was it easy? Was it difficult? What was it like? be like a little interesting because I'm Mexican so like it's kind of tough to come out to your family. At first it wasn't that accepting but as soon as they got more used to it it was more welcoming with the family. I would say advice wise just be yourself and even though like it can be scary do it and be, always be yourself. Because you never can live contrary to your heart. If you do it's going to be a long tough life right? I didn't come out I was just like hey this is who I'm dating. I came out I planned it it was great I had a promise to myself to do it by a certain time. Ten years ago I did it my family is over progressively been more and more accepting and I love them for that. Were you nervous as shit the day of? Hell yeah. Like yeah, like shitting bricks literally, but it had to be done because nothing is more important than loving you. How did you do it? Yeah, it was actually, I told my mom in real life that we had family dinner and then it happened like that. Like it was like, hey, we're all here. I'm queer, yes. Honestly, I came out with my parents drunk at a party at my mom's 60th and she told me she was bi too. So that was a surprise to me and I was- Wait, really? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> as well as it could have gone. As well as I thought. I, it, there was no problems. All my, my, my girlfriend accepted it. Every my experience was also easy. I'm very fortunate and lucky to have parents that really just don't give a shit. And they're like, you know what? If you're not hurting other people and you're just being yourself, that's all we can ever ask you to be. We don't care who you date or who you sexually prefer. <laughs> I have a message on my t-shirt for both of you. Nice butt. Oh, thank you. I have a nice butt. <laughs> I fucking love this shirt. We're definitely getting more in stock. I think it just sends a good message, you know? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's very true. Yeah, how are you guys doing today? Never had a bad day in my life. You look like you can lift up a whole car. I've done it. Really? Well, truck, yeah. Holy shit, how do I... I have chicken legs. I don't know if I'll ever do that. How do I get on your level? Well, you gotta work out for about 18 months straight. Take a shitload of like sustenance and testosterone. Go to nationals. Just work out every single day. Is that your like full-time dedication? Is that what you do? Yeah, yeah. I'm a nationally ranked strong guy. Holy shit! How do we look you up? Just look up the Midwest Monster. You'll find the me. Midwest Monster. Any final thoughts? Live so long. We only live so long. Be your fucking selves. Be proud of who Woo! you are. Do they have a confederate flag in their room? Okay, maybe, maybe not, but you know. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. I had a really good time at this festival. A lot of really welcoming, friendly people. So on the plus side, great people, great conversations. On the not so plus side, some of these questions were still not answered. What is masculinity? Who knows? It's whatever you want it to be. Look at that car. Is that orange? Or is it whatever you want it to be? I don't know. I'm finding out these answers. The quest continues to take you on adventures to places you don't normally see or go. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.